Wow. I am speechless. Hey, what's going on guys? Chaz here with another review for you. So I just came back from seeing Ghostbusters Afterlife. The feet are planted, her face is poised. Yes! Did I hit it? Hit it! He destroyed it! Yes! Her grandfather was a Ghostbuster. There hasn't been a ghost sighting in 30. And, wait, hold on one second. This doesn't feel right. Much better. All right, so see, after seeing Ghostbusters Afterlife, um, went to the theater, got an early screening of it today, and uh, I gotta say, this movie was everything I wanted and more. Um, we got to see a new generation of Ghostbusters uh, becoming heroes, which was a great choice by Jason Reitman to, um, you know, get us invested into this new, get new people invested into the franchise. Um, you know, the whole story was great. You know, the, it's pretty much a mom is getting evicted from her house and all she has left is pretty much um, her father's old house, uh, his father, uh, her father's old house. After he passed away, he left it to her and that's all they have left they go out there and you get to meet um right away you get to see um how uh, mckenna grace which honestly guys she is a coming of age actress she is great i can't wait to see her what she's next because any movie she does i'm gonna watch she nailed being egon's granddaughter so well um it just she blew my mind you can already you, you can see who she is like she copied not even copied she made her own thing as phoebe uh like her mannerisms and everything as egon um how like he was just stone cold um so smarter than smarter than everybody else but making little jokes here and there little smirks and her dry sense of humor her dad jokes um her timing everything was just perfect mckenna grace killed it as phoebe um and Finn Wolfhart was great as the older brother. He um, he had his little arc in there, you know. Um, obviously, he's the driver, but he always, you know, Finn Wolfhart is so good at like stealing scenes and stuff in uh, Stranger Things, and he does it here um, with his little uh, jokes here and there. So he kind of is more Pete, the Peter character, right? Um, and uh, yeah, the then the mom is played by the the girl that was. Um, approximately midnight in the Marvel movies uh which is funny because her and paul rudd in this movie was uh she was great as the mom i love her acting um honestly i feel like you know the whole start of the movie um was great and it gave the momentum to push forward you got invested into each character each character had a purpose and they 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 actually fulfilled that you know um everything got called backs the the the, the you know the the little uh, easter eggs in the background everything just hit perfectly um so anyway they get to the town and um um phoebe's walking around and they you know she they're looking around and stuff and to commenting about the old house and everything and then you uh, you you get a surprise after that um and you pretty much find out more of what egon was kind of doing um during this time and why he was out here in the desert um and uh yeah then the story just keeps unfolding um paul rudd came in as you know he's the teacher this uh, the summer school teacher sophie b um goes with him and uh they start um you know she he finds out that she's kind of really sm she's smarter than all the other kids in her class and uh the whole bullying scene was not that they showed in the trailer was not in the movie i think they cut it um cut it out unless i missed it completely but i don't think i did uh but she goes um he puts on cujo for the kids to watch and like puts on horror movies it's pretty funny and these kids are just staring watching and you could just tell that phoebe's different and she goes and uh, goes into his office and they're talking about the earthquakes that's happening and uh you know it's just it just starts flowing from there and then you you know finn finn wolf hearts um meeting um the girl uh that was at the burger place and uh, she, you know, she has her own arc, which she was great too. Um, basically, you know, everything amounted to something in this movie. Um, there was no like, 
op like things that were just left behind uh every per er, like i said every character had a purpose um paul rudd was doing his paul rudd thing which was perfect uh he was just he was so funny and um you know it, it was just it was a great movie um a lot of callbacks uh you know you, you know they, they had a lot of reminders of you know the old you don't forget the old ghostbusters movies and uh you know you know they're they're not they're not shying away from anything and uh you know there's a lot of good parts in here where they have uh i don't want to spoil anything because i'll do the spoiler stuff later uh you know they they ah man podcast that that's that's what i want to get in podcast was phenomenal uh he he he, he really was funny that kid that, I, that that kid has a bright future in hollywood he was very entertaining um uh, what else did we have uh the ghosts in there were great uh getting to see the muncher that was cool um getting to see the ecto for the first time was great he and the proton pack sound the sound quality the sign the sound design was on chef's kiss perfect the boom scene in imax or adobe and you will not be disappointed guys seriously um you know hearing the siren come on for the first time proton pack shooting for the first time uh turning on for the first time um the atmosphere the shots were great like they had these nice shots of the ecto driving and it's some far away distance or like even the car just driving down a road it was just looked great jason reitman knows how to direct the movie and he kills it man um but uh, all in all you know without getting to spoilers it was a great movie great time the last 10 minutes of this movie is going to get you real emotional it hit me hard um i teared up and it was great um there's two after the credit scene so wait for those and uh yeah a lot of surprise cameos too oh yeah that's another thing there was a lot of surprise cameos in here uh it's people you would never think would be in there it's great um but all in all guys i give this movie 10 out of 10 this is i loved it so much and i'm so happy um that hopefully you know that we get some more of these and uh, they continue the franchise because the franchise has a bright future with all these young actors um but anyway guys thank you for watching and uh hope you go see it support ghostbusters i'm gonna go see it a uh, second time on friday and then i'll put my spoiler review then uh thank you so much guys um and uh i'll see you in the next one peace